Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Thursday, July 19th. This is for all signs. Keep in mind that if it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. These two came flying out. <laughs> the Queen of Pentacles isn't happy. I'm not sure. It could be anybody. Somebody's not happy. Could be Leo. Could be anybody. Okay. Somebody's not feeling stable, not feeling secure, not feeling um, like they're getting anywhere. I'm not sure who this is. Um, there could be some jealousy going on and it's funny because I almost started this out with some talk you know talking about what I was feeling and um, I was feeling that other people were jealous you know I was feeling that other people were jealous of other people okay um, for and I was thinking about myself as a matter of fact and I happen to be the Queen of Pentacles and that's why I didn't bring it up I was thinking you know I have a lot of haters and I don't want to I don't want to start the reading out with I have a lot of I don't have a lot of haters but most of them some of them are other readers okay um, but and some of them are just people that are in my life that don't like my success and and I have some other people as well that aren't in my life that used to be in my life that are that don't like me, whatever. I don't care about any of that. But it feels like jealousy is an issue. I wasn't. I didn't want to bring it up. I didn't want to bring it up. But here it is. So I feel like there is jealousy going around, especially in this day and age right now. People don't want to support other people. Um, very envious. Okay, so you could have somebody that's very envious of you. And, you know, don't let them bring your, ha bring your happiness down. Don't let them make you feel negative just because they're negative. You know, that's a facet of themselves. And, you know, it's funny that you know, when I was, when I started this, I was thinking about, you know, I always get thumbs down and I don't care about the thumbs down. I'm looking for sympathy. So don't tell me, oh, don't worry about the haters. I seriously, I don't give a shit about the haters. I don't need to hear you guys say, oh, don't care about the haters. I seriously don't care about the haters, so I don't need your sympathy. Anyway, um, do not let them get you down. I don't let them get me down. I really, I seriously do not give a shit. I block and delete just like that. And the reason I mention it is because I want the rest of you to not let it get you down. Don't let it get you down. You have to understand that that's a facet of themselves. You know, when I say this reading is right or this reading is wrong, you know, people will still not get it. They'll still not get it. It won't be right for them and they'll hit the thumbs down. And, you know, I don't care. I seriously don't care. I'm, what I'm here to tell you is do not let jealousy bring you down. Okay? That's a message. I wanted to start the reading out with that. I tried not to, but here we are. Do not let jealousy bring you down. There is always going to be somebody, probably several people that are jealous. Consider it a compliment. Oh, the moon reversed. See? Okay, the moon reversed. This is there's always stuff going on behind the scenes. There's secrets, there's lies, there's illusions, there's fears. You know, the moon reversed is reality as well. The truth coming out. It is what it is. It is what it is. Whatever it is, it is. It doesn't really matter. See things as you see them. It doesn't matter what they think. It doesn't matter what's going on behind the scenes. Be yourself. Be yourself. Now, the Empress, she knows better. 
She knows better. She's not worried about any of that. She is a person who walks in purpose. Okay? She's a person who walks in purpose. She doesn't chase people or opportunities. She has enough self-love, enough self-esteem, enough self-worth, enough wisdom that she has gained through life experience and over the years to know who she is and feel comfortable with it. Okay? So we have Leo, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we have Pisces, and we have Taurus and Libra. I feel as though there's an opportunity for a birth here, and this doesn't have to be a physical birth. This is a birth of, of who you are, or a new idea, or whatever it is to you. It's the birth of something new, renewal. It's also self-love and it's inner abundance. When you get to this point of feeling like the empress or being the empress, when you're in empress mode, nobody can touch you. They can't touch you. And when you glow, she's glowing. You see the lights around her head? People will come in from behind the scenes to bring you down to take away your positivity, to make you see the darkness. Because of their darkness, you see, this is dark. The moon is darkness. Okay? The light comes to illuminate the darkness. So it's, you know, do not let other people steal your light. Because that's what, they only do that because they need it. Be the empress. Be wise enough to know what's going on, where they're coming from. There's obviously something going on behind the scenes. Be wise enough to know that there's obviously something going on beside, behind the scenes that is making a person jealous, upset. They can't steal your light even if they try. Here we have the lover's card. This is an unexpected choice. It's a decision that needs to be made in regards to love. Or whatever else it could be. Some of you know I do love readings. You guys always are trying to change it up. Um, and that's fine. That's fine. I even, I even had an email. And I know that you guys don't want to hear my talk. But I'm going to give it to you anyway. Um, from a woman yesterday. She wanted a reading. And it was all about everything but love. And I said, no, you know, I do love readings. And she wrote back and she said, well, your readings aren't really love readings. I'm doing the readings. What? You make it fit your situation, I understand. But when I do the readings, I focus on love. There's an unexpected choice here. I believe it's in regards to love. You know, before I started this reading, I, 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 I saw the Knight of Cups, an offer of love. Right before I started the reading, that's what I saw, the Knight of Cups. He's not here, but it's an offer of love. So here we have an offer of love. Maybe it's you offering love to this jealous individual, whoever it is, I don't know, through kindness through not reciprocating with negativity, whatever it is. Either way, there's an offer of love. This could be from another person. Maybe you're both free at this time. Maybe, maybe the universe or an angel, Cupid, is coming in to give you what you've been wishing for. Okay, because this is the angel of love. Okay, so I feel as though there is a new opportunity coming in for love. Because you're shining so bright. You are shining so bright. You're not letting the negativity keep you down. And if you are, it's time to become this empress so that love can come in. If you are letting other people's jealousy and negativity and darkness hold you back, if you're letting it get to you, then you aren't the empress yet. Because the Empress knows better. Okay? So when you get to this Empress mode, you're beautiful, you're abundant, you love who you are, you're not, you don't care about any of this. Hoorah. 
that's when love is going to come in. So there is an unexpected choice in love in which you're going to have to make a decision. You know, love heals. Love heals. So I feel like there could be prepared to make a decision in regards to a union, okay? A contract, a coming together. You could be receiving a message from somebody or this person could just be entering your life or just coming right in. There's the jealousy again, and it's right over here. You are definitely dealing with somebody who's trying to bring you down. Do not let them. Somebody is watching you from behind the scenes, and that is the truth. Somebody is watching you from behind the scenes, and they are jealous. They're angry. They're upset. They're negative. They are not happy about your self-love, about who you are, about your beauty, about... The compassion that you have for yourself or for others, they're just, you know, darkness has a hard time seeing the light. Darkness lights. Darkness has a hard time seeing the light. So, you know, it's up to you to keep your boundaries, to not let this person in, to not let this person hurt you. I don't know who this message is for. Somebody is upset behind the scenes. They're upset with your success. Or your happiness. Yeah. Could be more than one person, huh? Somebody, maybe it's a group of people. Maybe it's an old bunch of friends. Or it's family members. I don't know. But there's conflicts. It's like, you know, you may have to stand up for yourself. It's like they're, criti they're critical. They're, they're misjudging. They may, you may feel like you're being attacked by these people. There is a, there is, there are some people that will never see the light. The only thing you can do is be wise enough to hold your head up high and not let it bother you. And I'm not sure that who this is for, but you are dealing with somebody that is bitter. They're being vindictive and they're trying to bring you down. But you're happy. You're happy. And they see your happiness. And some people are so jealous of another person's happiness that they will do anything. Anything. Because they're not happy. It's amazing how it shifts. Okay? It does. It shifts because you have what it takes to overcome. You do. There's inner abundance. There's inner compassion. There's unconditional love here. Unconditional love for self. The Empress is, is a beautiful soul. She's gained a lot of strength from, from past experiences. So she, she knows that happiness comes from within. And, and therefore, she's not going to allow this, this jealous situation uh, to be her demise. Anyway, I think that this, you know, the chariot card is about mastering emotions. Okay. So it's finding the strength to master your emotions and move forward. And that's what this is happening here. I feel like there's a shift that somebody has overcome or they are overcoming some negative people, some jealousy, some people that don't want them to thrive. They're overcoming it. They're, they're coming out on top because of their self-love. And because they have that amount of self-love to not let this, these demons bring them down, they, they come out on top. And now there's an unexpected choice. It's like the angel says, you've passed. You've passed the test. And because you've passed the test, I'm going to bring you what you want. I'm going to bring you this happiness. And it could happen very, very quickly. Okay. Let me make sure this is zoomed in. It is. So I feel like today is a day of mental strength. You know, keeping things under control. It's like you're headed forward in a positive direction despite adversity. And because you're, you're not engaging... The, the, the Empress doesn't engage. She's like, yeah, whatever. Okay. I don't even need to give this my energy. She doesn't. She doesn't. She knows better. 
She knows better. She doesn't chase people or opportunities. And you know, when people see that beautiful light, some people are gonna, they're gonna say, you know, you're beautiful, I'm so happy for you. You know, how did this happen? What can I do? You know, they're going to ask for advice, some people. And then there's going to be other people that are going to be so jealous that they're going to want to knock you down. But it looks like you passed the test. You passed the test. There could be a verbal attack, okay, from somebody. There could be, you know. But it looks like, you know what, you don't engage. <coughs> Sorry, I opened the door and apparently today's trucking day. Um, somebody is headed in the right direction towards victory and success very, very quickly. They've worked hard on themselves. They've worked hard on accomplishment. And now it's like this angel of love is here to say, okay, we're going to give you this new contract because you have passed the test. So I feel like today, and I also saw the Knight of Cups even though it didn't come up. I feel like today's a day there could be an offer of love that comes in because of your beauty, your perseverance, your self-love. You earned it. You earned it. Could be from a Cancer, could be from a Gemini, could be from anybody, okay? Because it doesn't really matter what the signs are. But I do see happiness is on the way because you 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 know who you are. For those of you that know who you are, there's a birth of a new love, there's a birth of a new happiness, there's a birth of a new relationship, perhaps, and it's something that you've been waiting for, so congratulations. This is overcoming adversity, passing a test that leads to something beautiful. So we're going to get some other cards, I suppose. Let's see, I think I'm going to get one of these. Oh, big, bold vision makes sense because this is who she is. Big, bold vision. She's, she's very bold. She's not afraid. She's absolutely, the empress is not afraid. She has learned big, bold vision. That's, can't wait to read the card. <laughs> and some people don't like it. Some people don't like other people's success. They'll do anything. That's ego. That's their ego. So don't let other people's negativity hold you back from following your big, bold vision. You will be rewarded with it should you continue to keep walking, keep moving. Don't stop. You were not born to play a small role in life. You have the ability to dream big, even if you have absolutely no idea about your visions about how your visions can come to pass or what all the details may look like. You can access your, the heart and guts of a vision by tapping into your wildest dreams and surrendering attachment to exactly how it will all work out. The details are up to the creative genius of the universe. You are an active contributing participant, but not the sole player in your life journey. There is something a vision or an idea that is coming to you. You may worry that it is too much for you, but don't worry, it is meant to be yours. Although you might have some adjust adjustments to make and some tweaking to do as you let go of your limited thinking and open up to a fearless acceptance of bigger, brighter, more radical, and more po potent possibilities of creating living your light in the world. So, you know, Fearless acceptance. Don't let jealousy, don't let negativity, don't let naysayers, don't let people that don't want you to rise above them hold you back. Follow your dreams, follow your path. A sign that you are cracking out of your limited thinking to allow for a big, bold vision to come to you is that you might feel a little dizzy with the shrinking limitations and expanding possibilities of life. You may wonder if you are allowed to access so much wonder. 
Remember that in your healing and growing success as you manifest this big vision, you can touch the hearts of others through your presen presence, your inner work, your art, and your choices. It's a win-win situation. Those that are meant to live big, bold, and visionary lives need to give themselves permission to break the mold and, for and forge newer, more expansive perspectives of what is possible and what is permitted and what is of service. It's about letting go and opening up. Others will benefit from this. Even though it's your vision, it's not just about you. You are being asked to remember that when something is right for you, endless synchronicities and support will flow your way at the right time and in the right way. Stay open, receptive, playful, and surrendered. This oracle brings you a message. You are about to receive or be invited to become part of a grand visionary beginning. It has the markings of something fantastic. No matter how the journey that brings this vision into reality unfolds, and there will be some twists and turns that you don't see coming, it is still helpful for you to be open to it. Trust your heart, be still with your choices, and when the time feels right and truthful, leap. This is what the Empress says. She is leaping or has leaped. Other people don't like it. Keep going. Keep going. The angels obviously have your back. Have your back. And they're bringing you a new opportunity. Something that will be very happy and fulfilling. And lead to victory and success. So today is a day of overcoming your haters, adversity, and staying on your path, following your visions, and feeling abundant with who you are. This oracle brings a general message of positive energy. <clears throat> Trust that things will be coming up roses for you. Even if everything seems to be in a bit of shambles now, it's really just the essential mess before a truly spectacular success. <laughs> it is what it is, right? So today is a day of overcoming adversity. Let the naysayers, the ha haters, be who they are. Just keep walking. Good luck.